Hey, how's it going guys? It's Mira here and in today's video I want to show you guys how to build a medieval watchtower inside of Minecraft. And you can use this watchtower to defend a village or any kind of building in PvP. And now these are the resources you're going to need to actually build this entire building. So make sure you grab these before we start. And then you're going to want to find an area of land and dig down two blocks with a 7x7 area and then fill that in with the foundations that you can see right here. And now once you're done with this step, we can go straight ahead with our first step. And from these corner foundations that are made out of stone brick, we can go up 13 blocks from the ground, building foundations on all four of these corner sections. And now once you're done with that, we can go ahead and take some cobblestone and go up three blocks, building a wall all the way around uh, in between our foundations. Okay, now that we're done with those walls, we should end up with a five high section inside of our building which we're going to use as our basement and now to build those textures that you saw on the watchtower we're going to take a mixture of mossy cobblestone and andesite and begin to just fill in a random texture of those materials to make the building look really really old and weathered and i would say the best way to do this if you're struggling is just to have a nice balance between the mossy cobblestone and the andesite and don't make it look too intentional make it look really really random all right and now that we're done with that we're going to go ahead and fill in the rest of that empty section between our foundations with stone just leaving a gap at the very top and i will mention that if you are building this in survival we are actually going to break up this texture as well using a mixture of cobblestone and andesite so if you don't want to waste as much stone i would suggest doing that as you're going So now to break up that texture using a mixture of cobblestone and andesite. So the first thing I would do if you were in creative or if you want to do it in survival is just break out a bunch of areas and fill them in with cobblestone and then do the exact same thing again but this time obviously with our andesite. And now we can do this all the way around on each one of our walls and this is going to make it look like I said a lot more old and a lot more detailed than if we just left it as a stone wall. So as you can see, the texture that we've done on the top should merge really well with the texture that we've done on the bottom with the cobblestone andesite and mossy cobblestone. And so what we're doing is we're creating a gradient between our mossy at the bottom and the stone at the top to make it look like the bottom has been more destroyed than the top of our uh, watchtower, which is how it would be in real life. So now that we're done with texturing the building, it's time to build a stairway that's going to come around the building and up to our entrance doorway. So using the mixture of stone brick, blocks, stairs and slabs, we're going to start to build up the actual sides of where our stairway is going to come around the building. And yet again, we still want to keep that old and random looking style. So we're going to create a mixture between the stairs and the slab. So now coming on this side of the building, we're going to go ahead and build two pillars coming five blocks up from the ground. And we want to create a platform here because this is where our doorway is actually going to be. And now we can go ahead and build two blocks coming up at a time, connecting to a lower section. And now let's go ahead and take some stairs and begin to add some more shape to our stairway section like this. And now we can swing around and actually begin to build the stairway coming all the way down to our ground level. And now let's add some more stairs underneath like this as well. And now we're pretty much done with the stone brick layout for our stairway. So let's go ahead and actually climb up our stairway all the way to the top and go ahead and take some cobblestone walls and build these sections like this all the way leading up to the top of our stairway. And now obviously at the very top of our stairway, we're gonna want a opening for a doorway. So let's build one like this. 
And when it comes to placing our doorway, we're just gonna take a spruce door and make sure that we place it inside so that we have a gap for our doorway. Okay, so now that we're done with this, we can go ahead and add some more texture to our stairway, just using some cobblestone. So let's just add some couple bits of cobblestone every now and then, just to add a bit more texture. And then obviously we can also break up that texture as well, using some mossy and some andesite. Let's also add some mossy stone brick around our building as well, as that will blend really nicely with the rest of our walls. So now heading to the front of our building again, we're going to go ahead and build an overhang just using some spruce wood slabs. So the way that we're going to build this is just by building some slabs on the top and having it slowly make its way down until the bottom of our overhang. And we want to make it look sort of random and weathered. And now after this, we can go ahead and take some spruce wood fences and just prop up these sections so they look like they're being supported. All right, so now it's time to build some more shape around the bottom of our watchtower. So we're just going to use a mixture of cobblestone, andesite and mossy cobblestone and start to build up some rocks that look like they're supporting our tower. So just going around the bottom, we're going to start to build these random shapes and we're going to use a mixture of stairs and slabs as well to make this shape look a lot more detailed. So I would suggest starting off just using cobblestone until you've got a shape that you really like and then you can go in with the slabs and the stairs and then of course you can go in with the texture at the end as well. And obviously we don't need to deal with them in this section because we've already got the stairway there. Okay, so now moving to the top layer of our watchtower, we're going to go ahead and replace this top layer with some polished andesite. So now on the top section, we're gonna go ahead and place some upside down stone stairs. And on our corner sections, it's gonna be one block down. And then those two ones on our front sections are just gonna be on the top layer. And we're gonna go ahead and do this all the way around on all four of the, uh, of the faces of our watchtower. And now that we're done with this, let's go ahead and take some stone brick blocks and build up each of these until they're all on the same level. And now we've built the main crenellations for our watchtower but there's still a lot more that we can do to these to make them look even better. So now to fill in each of these gaps, we're gonna go ahead and take some stone brick stairs and just place them the right way up in between each of these sections. So now in the corner sections of our crenellations, let's just place some full blocks. And then on these two front sections, we can just put some half slabs. And there we go, that's our crenellations done. On every other one of our crenellation sections, we're gonna break a block out because we're gonna go ahead and build some murder holes. Swinging around to the outside of our watchtower, we're gonna go ahead and crouch and place these spruce trapdoors facing inwards so that we can open them just like this. And now obviously we wanna fill these sections in so that there's not just a gap in our crenellations. So we're gonna go ahead and place some upside down um, stone brick stairs and we wanna leave a little gap so that we can actually open up these trap doors to reveal a little hole. And the reason we have these murder holes inside of our crenellations is we can either throw blocks out or even shoot a bow or a crossbow down on any enemies trying to attack our watchtower. So now we can go ahead and build some of these murder holes on every other one of our crenellation spaces. But not every single one, just every now and then. And now we're basically done with the top of our watchtower. It's time to head on inside and begin to build 
each of our floors for our watchtower. So let's start at the bottom, just creating a cross section made out of dark oak logs and then filling in the rest of those empty sections with some spruce wood planks. Now we're going to go ahead and build a five high column and break it up with some texture as well. And this is going to be for our ladder that's going to lead to our second floor. So now to build the ceiling for our underground section and the floor for our, well, first floor really, because that's where our doorway is. I'm going to go ahead and build another cross section and then we're going to fill in these sections with some upside down spruce wood stairs, creating the pattern that I've shown you here. And where our gap's going to be for our ladder up, we're just going to have two blocks just like this. And then of course we don't want any creepers spoiling in our basement, so let's go ahead and put a lantern there before we leave. So now let's move on to the first floor of our actual watchtower, because that's where our door is. So let's build another cross section, but we're going to leave a space because that's where our stairway is going to go up to our second floor. And then we're just going to fill these in again with some upside down spruce wood stairs. So now let's take some stone brick and we're going to build a little section like this, which is going to be for our stairway up to our second floor. So just follow along and copy what I'm doing for this, just using the mixture of stairs and obviously full blocks. Also, you want to leave a two by two gap in that section as well, because we're going to use that for something a little bit later. And just to fill in the rest of our ceiling, we're also going to take some upside down spruce wood stairs and just wrap them around where our gap is. And yet again, don't forget to put a lantern on the ceiling and you can also put a spruce wood trapdoor as well. And then put some beds there, that's what our two by two section is going to be. And just detail that, because they're going to be little bunk beds for the people that are living in the watchtower. So now for our second floor, let's go ahead and build another ceiling the same way we have for every other section this far and fill these in as well. But we're going to leave one gap because this is where we're going to build a ladder to our third and final floor. So we'll just put a couple more upside down stairs for that as well, leaving us with a little gap and a lantern. And there we go. We're basically done with that floor. So now moving on to the very top and final floor, let's just pop another trap door where our ladder is. And now we're done with each of the floors for our watchtower. There's just a few more bits that we need to add to our watchtower to make sure that we can actually use it as a real defensive structure in PvP. So one detail that no watchtower can go without is we're obviously going to build some arrow slits so we can shoot out at any enemies from inside the safety of the watchtower. So when we build these arrow slits, we can just build a couple on each floor and have them be at different heights and then different sides so they look a bit more random and natural. Obviously make sure that it's easy for you to be able to shoot out of them, but basically put them wherever you feel like it's going to be the best place for you to be able to shoot out on anybody on the ground. Also make sure that you're using blocks that actually match up with the other blocks that we've used to detail and texture this wall. So now that we're done with our arrow slits, let's move on to the final step. So with a mixture of oak log and spruce wood, we're going to build a pole like this with spruce fences coming five blocks high from our pole. And then we're going to connect a flag to that, which can be of any color you like, making sure it looks like it's waving in the wind and then just pop a pressure plate on top of that. So now to show you how I decorated the interior of my watchtower. So using a lot of dark oak blocks, we can build some tables and chairs even downstairs as well with a little wardrobe and some plant pots. And really I've left the rest of the floors sort of empty for you guys to decide what kind of things you want to put there. Obviously, if you're playing in survival or creative, it might be a bit different for you. All right, guys, congratulations on building your very own watchtower inside of Minecraft. Now, obviously, if you did like the video, make sure to give it a like as it does help me out and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. And if you have any suggestions, just put them down in the comments and I will see you guys next time.